Okay, let's go ahead and figure out how many degrees is in 14% of a circle. So you can see here I have this little graphic. Here's the circle, and this would be, say, 14% of it. And we want to know how many degrees this is. So, you know, what's the practical application of doing this? Well, really not much, okay? The whole idea behind this problem is to really practice your understanding of percent and your basic knowledge of how many degrees are in a circle. And we'll try to make a nice little cute math problem here. Uh, just to practice these fundamental things, uh, per really specifically percent, okay? So hopefully you can do this very basic percent problem. Uh, um, most of you out there probably can do this problem in about 12 seconds, all right? So what do we need to know? Well, you need to know how many degrees are in a circle, and I'll just tell you that right now. There's 360 degrees in a circle, so we want to find 14% of 360. So if you can do that, you will get the right answer. And if you're not quite sure, uh, you know, if you do have the right answers, well, stick around for another minute or two, and I am going to walk through the solution here uh, step by step. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Now, of course, I'll let you be the judge of that statement. If you're interested, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here very shortly in about a week. Um, but I also have many, many courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, um, Accuplacer, Alex exam, CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam like the Praxis, all those exams and many others, they have a lot of math on them. And if you don't do well in the math section, you don't do well on the exam. So let me help you uh, prepare. Just go to my site, check out my full course catalog. I should have the, your exam. Now, if I do not, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. I also do a lot with homeschooling. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program. And then obviously I help those of you who are having a tough time in your current math courses. Now, if you're truly serious about wanting to learn math or improve in mathematics, then you got to be serious about your notes, okay? So over decades of teaching mathematics, there's just one thing I can always point to with consistency, and that is those students who take great math notes almost always do very, very well. And the reverse is true. Those students who like to do anything other than take notes, and that would include what? Looking at your cell phone, talking to your buddies, and doing homework in another class. Listen, I, I was uh, a student <laughs> uh, many years ago myself, and I made all these mistakes, except for the cell phone part. Uh, that is completely distracting. I'm glad those weren't around when I was a student because I don't even know if I would have uh, graduated. So I get it that there's a lot of distractions going on, but if you want to be successful, you're going to have to figure out how to stay focused. And the best way uh, in my opinion, to stay focused is to take excellent notes, okay? So working your note-taking, everything is going to get better if you do that. Um, but in the meantime, you can use my notes to study from. So those would include pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and Trigonometry. You can find the links to my notes uh, in the description of this video as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back to this problem. Again, if you have a calculator, you can do this in about 11.6 uh, seconds. We need to find 14% of 360 degrees, and that is going to be the solution. So let's go ahead and walk through this. All right, so here is our circle. Again, a circle is 360 degrees. Now, if you didn't know that, uh, you know, don't, you know, be upset, but this is kind of basic uh, knowledge that I think everyone should know. In a circle, it's 360 degrees, so half a circle is, what, 180 degrees, a quarter of a circle is 90 degrees, and here, three quarters of a circle is 270 degrees. So, you know, you can kind of make some estimations here, like, okay, well, in percent-wise, what uh, percent is one quarter of a circle? That's like 25%, right? And over here, this is, what, 50%. This is 75%. So you can kind of guesstimate a little bit, you know, in terms of your answer. Does it make sense? So 14%, well, 14 plus 14, that's 28%. So you're thinking, all right, what's half of, what's half of 90 degrees, okay? Well, half 90 degrees is 45 degrees, so 45 um, you would divide uh, 25 by 2, right? So that's 12.5%. Should be like 45 degrees. So 14, uh, make my little percent there, uh, 
45 degrees. See, I'm messing up already. 45 degrees. So when we find, when you're looking for this answer, and anytime you're doing a percent problem, if you can, look to see if your answer is like reasonable. Okay, so you're saying, all right, 14% of a circle, it's probably going to be a little bit more than 14, uh, 45 degrees because 12.5% of a circle is uh, 45 degrees. So we're looking for 14 percent. So again, you know, when you do any math problem, you should always see if you can kind of, um, you know, we'll pass the smell test, the reality test. Like, does this make sense? All right. So let's go ahead and actually do this now using the correct math. So 14% of 360, how do we take a percent of anything? Well, you take that percent and you turn it into a decimal. So we're going to write 14% as a decimal. That's 0.14. So remember when you're going from a percent let me go this way actually let me just do this right here because this is very very important so 14.0 percent now how do i change a percent into a decimal well there's two ways to do it the easiest way is just to move the decimal point two places to the left so 0.14 okay is equal to 14 percent so when you write that number, 14%, you're like, well, where's the decimal point? I don't see the decimal point. Well, it's just, you have to plop it in right there. So like 14 is the same thing as 14.0. So if you're confused about where the decimal point is, it's right uh, at the end of that last digit. Okay. Now, this is effectively taking 14 and dividing by 100 as well. You'll get 0.14. But what you have to do first to find a percent of a number is you find that you take that percent and you write it as a decimal. So in this case, again, 14% is 0.14, and then just multiply by our number that we want to find uh, the particular percent of. So that's 0.14 times 360, and we get 50.4, but 50.4 what? Degrees, and that is the answer, okay? So if you got that right, you know, I would say very good. Let me go ahead and give you a standard, basic, uh, happy face. Uh, with a little A plus and 100% uh, of this nice little pop quiz. Now, if you are confused about percent, well, uh, you definitely want to fix this because percent is one of this, these mathematical concepts that are used every, you know, almost like every day. You're looking at percent problems, whether, you know, you're looking at your credit card bills, your interest rates, um, you know, inflation, <laughs> you know, that percent of everything's increasing. You need to understand percent, right? You go to the store, you see a sale, things are, you know, 15% off, 20% off. So uh, a couple suggestions. One, um, I have a ton of videos on percent in my pre-algebra playlist, right? So I would definitely encourage you to go through that. Uh, but if you need to learn percent and more, then I teach percent in uh, my pre-algebra course. So you might be interested in, in uh, that as well. It all depends how much math you need to learn. But, you know, for basic practical math, everyone should understand percent. Okay? All right. So hopefully you did pretty good with this uh, little prom. And if that was the case, if you actually even enjoyed it, enjoyed this video even a little bit, please consider smashing that like button a little bit. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, hopefully you'll consider sub uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus uh, math videos, so basic to advanced math. My goal is to try to um, really try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. Try to demystify some of these more abstract concepts. Listen, anyone, everyone can learn math. No one should be failing math, but you got to be doing your part. Okay, so if you're, you're having a tough time. You know, take a look at your notes. You got to double down. Take better notes. You know, uh, talk to your math teacher. And if you need help beyond that, there's so many free re uh, resources today. So, you know, like my YouTube channel, if you like my teaching style, there's a ton of stuff you can learn from me. But my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.